Jeff is back. We've missed yes. you, Jeff. We really have. We missed you. I've only been gone three days. It didn't. It felt yeah. longer. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Jeff Titanic. <laughs> Okay, Albert. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff was uh, in Titanic. Texas the past few days visiting. Why? Because of our outfits? No, I was just saying, like, you were really welcoming him back. Like, yeah, I missed Jeff. Those people yeah, didn't come back from the Titanic. Some did. I guess so. Lifeboats. I thought you were talking about Erica's off-the-shoulder look. No, that's the Bridgerton <laughs> look. So I yeah. look like I was on the Titanic. <laughs> no, you look like you were in a horse and carriage. Yeah. I in wear. the back, wave, fanning yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got my little Western gear on, too. You do. So we're good. It's to honor you being in Texas. Oh, I appreciate you guys yes. dressing up. Yes, yes. So Jeff was in Texas to uh, get to know some of our stations there. Tell us all about it, Jeff. I called it the heat and meat tour. I yeah. did. Yeah, I cracked that joke a couple times no one really laughed. Oh. I like it. But thanks Barbecue, for, thanks. hot, come on, y'all. Yes, it was very hot down there. I was visiting affiliate stations to kick off our season premiere starting September 12th. I got, mm. all, the, I got all the stats down. We're in 48% of the country, 76 markets, 81 wow. different stations. Yeah, yeah, I rattle it off. Like yeah. constantly to everybody in Yeah, Texas? everywhere I went. Or, yeah, every station I went to. I just like, yeah, I know it all. Can we eat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you do anything authentically Texas? Yeah, let me, so we put together like a little package. And I'm gonna, so I went to Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. But I want to shout out some of our stations, our sister stations. So this is Austin right here. What? That's Hannah Rucker. She took me all around oh Austin. We took a boat ride. We got weird. That's Austin's motto. Let's get weird. <laughs> Willie Nelson for president. Yes. That's KVUE in Austin. We went and got barbecue. That's Kent Black. Three generations of barbecue. I've been there. That is the best stop I had. Sorry, Texas, but that was the best barbecue. Now we're moving on to San Antonio. Had a great time. I took myself down to the Alamo down there. Showed myself there's no basement. <laughs> Any Pee Wee Hermie fans? No, no Pee Wee Hermie fans. So I drove over there just because I love to see travel, but I stopped at Ken's, what? obviously Ken's Five in San Antonio. I met with Roma there for Great Day SA. Oh. I met Audrey, Henry, and Paul, and John Ross and Don. They took me out to lunch, and then this is Houston. That's Nymphas. It's like a famous place over there. Reka sent me there. That's Deborah with um, Great Day Houston, and Look that's obviously K H O U. That's Reka. She sent me there. Did, oh did a lot of interviews. Interviews, did a lot of promotion and uh, ate a lot of food. Was that like a make a wish wow. trip? That was awesome. That it was, was great. Insane. Like, it was, did you yeah. get any sleep? Yeah, I took a little dip in the pool. Nice. No kids. We had a little glass of wine, watch hard knocks by myself, no interruptions. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen in Houston, I heard. So, <laughs> what? So I was walking through the Houston airport, right, to get my kids something, and I was like, why do they have astronaut outfits here? You know? And I kept walking, and I didn't drink yet. And I kept walking, and I was like, wait a second. Houston, we have a problem. It's yes. from Houston, Texas? I yeah. Wait, I, did, I thought it was a call sign. Oh, I didn't know no. it was the actual <laughs> yeah. city. That's their, that was their, like, mothership, no pun intended. Well, that was their control center. I just learned Houston, that Houston, we have a problem. Yesterday. I didn't even put it together. <sighs> wow. Yeah. That's and, interesting. Okay, you want to hear so another dumb story? <laughs> I, was, I was having a glass of wine, and my watch was gone, and I go, oh, my God. That bartender is one of those magicians that could take off your watch. Really? Yeah. And that's, I'm like, oh my God, when did he do that? I'm like, I didn't even feel him do that. That's what happened. That's what's going through my mind. This is a moment in Big Jeff's <laughs> mind. Okay, okay, so, what happened to so what happened to my watch? I took it off its security and put it in my bag. But wow. Big Jeff's brain said, the bartender is a magician <gasps> and he stole it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you go with the most likely scenario. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So, wow. Great trip. All right. Uh, well, we're glad to have you back. Uh, are you? We had fun in Texas. And starting September 12th, we are moving to a new time for some of our viewers. We're also kicking off the sixth, can you believe it, the sixth season of DBL. We even have the slick new promo. Can you believe we've been on the air this long? Look at all of us. You can, oh, look at a little close up on Jeff Schroeder. I love it. Y'all. Wow. Erica. They, let, let's keep it all the way 100, okay? Uh, this is great. I love it so much, but nobody thought we were going to make it past our guaranteed 12 weeks. They were coming up with other uses for our studio. Yeah. <laughs> So this is season six, and I'm like, it's the craziest thing. Like, video when videos come up of, like, even our audition in L.A., it's, like, mind-blowing. I did a video in an Uber on my way to the audition explaining to people that I was going to be honest about what I was auditioning for, which a lot of times you don't do because if you don't get it, you, don't, you feel so bad about it. And I just had such great feelings about all of this. Really? And DBL, yes, and DBL University, 
is what we would call it, um, has just flourished. We're like getting our PhDs, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. That is so cool. And I've always thought of us as like the little engine that could. And look at us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just hung around. Yeah, I, I, I honestly. <laughs> more than hung around. If, I mean, but early on, we were, we were on the road. We're the stalkers of daytime television. Right, that's right. You just hang around and then wait, for your, wait for your opportunity and we moved in. I really had no idea that we would be here. I really took this job just because I was like, let me get off the road comedy for a year, do the stand, uh, do this show, and then daytime it'll be over and then we'll move on and here we are I know. i'm super happy and i love you guys love We're you. family we are family